How's it going guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys three of the best VPNs for Sweden, be it for streaming, speed or safety. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. So Sweden has very few internet restrictions, really, aside from the Spridning Skålen, uh, which is a crackdown on copyright infringement laws. However, you're still limited to content available in the country. Uh, whether you're resident or just visiting. You need a VPN to bypass geoblocks to access services from anywhere in the world like Netflix US, uh, Hulu, and BBC iPlayer. Plus, a VPN with servers in Sweden can help you access your accounts when traveling outside the country. And the best VPNs also keep your data private with strict no-locks policies and strong security, especially if you frequently use Sweden's many public Wi-Fi hotspots, which is why I selected these three VPNs. So I've tested a whole bunch of VPNs, and while Sweden has a very good overall internet environment, uh, government, surve government surveillance and data hacking remain an issue. The country is also a member of the Five Nine and Fourteen Eyes Alliance, which is an international intelligence sharing pact, so your online activity could be shared with governments around the world. That means VPNs with good privacy and security tools are a must in Sweden, especially if you intend to use unsecured public Wi-Fi. Uh, the right VPN for you shouldn't offer just security, but it should be fast enough to keep up with Sweden's uh, breakneck internet speeds. Of course, all three VPNs you see before you are fast enough to stream, game, and torrent without any delays. In addition, a good VPN should be easy to install and use for beginners while offering advanced features for more experienced users. And what makes Express, Nord, and Surfshark unique, honestly, is the fact that they do attract both beginners and advanced users alike. Uh, they attract the beginners, of course, because they're easy to use and they attract advanced users simply because they perform super well. So starting with ExpressVPN, which is ideal for buffer-free streaming, uh, it will not slow you down while torrenting or gaming. And of course, thanks to the high quality servers, even if you're in Sweden and you're connecting to faraway servers like servers in the States, you'll still continue to have very high speeds thanks to the high quality servers and uh, optimized protocols of ExpressVPN. You can easily bypass international geo restrictions with ExpressVPN's reliable server network of over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is huge. You'll be able to stream YouTube TV, Amazon Prime Video, Vudu, BBC iPlayer, and more. And you can still access local banking services and TV channels with the VPN Swedish servers, uh, including SVT1, SVT2, SVT Barn, and TV4. You'll be able to secure five simultaneous connections per subscription with ExpressVPN. And of course, you have a handful of protocols as well as the basic security features such as the network lock, which is of course known as the kill switch and split tunneling. And more importantly, ExpressVPN is definitely one of the easiest VPNs to use in the market. And, you know, as far as compatibility, it is compatible and available on almost every single modern device you can think of, including routers. And ExpressVPN is actually very well known for its uh, super easy to configure router application. And now with NordVPN, of course, you have over 5,200 servers in 65 countries. So that's less countries, but you've got plenty of servers to hop in between. And you've got, of course, specialty servers. You've got an ad blocker and you have the NordLynx protocol making NordVPN, of course, the fastest VPN in the industry today. Though it's only about three to 5% faster than ExpressVPN. So ExpressVPN is still very quick. And if you switch to OpenVPN, you'll get access to two more specialty servers, such as dedicated IP and double VPN. And of course, you've got not only the conventional kill switch, but also the app kill switch, which will let you close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN rather than disconnecting the entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. Of course, you've got split tunneling and an easy way to change your DNS with custom DNS. And of course, uh, obfuscated servers in case you're in a censorship heavy country. Now with Surfshark, you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices, unlike Nord's six simultaneous connections and Express's uh, five simultaneous connections per subscription. You know, usually in order to secure an unlimited number of devices with a VPN, you'll have to install any router, but some routers can actually be pretty expensive. So Surfshark just allows you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription without having to use a router, which is very 
convenient. Uh, you can just share your account with your friends and family very easily and everyone can uh, make full use of Surfshark. Of course, you still get features, you know, don't mistake Surfshark for being uh, very cheap in uh, value. It may be cheap and it may be uh, budget friendly, but it still performs very well. And it still sometimes goes even toe to toe with a NordVPN and ExpressVPN, though, of course, not as consistently, you know. Uh, still, for uh, the value you're getting for the price you're paying, roughly $60 for two years, it performs much better than 90% of VPNs out there. Uh, so you still get multi-hop and static IP, which is the same as dedicated IP and double VPN. What you're getting, of course, also is uh, the ad blocker right here, a kill switch split tunneling, which is called whitelister here. You're also getting, where is it? The WireGuard protocol, which is the best performing protocol, and the Shadow Socks protocol, which will only secure your browser traffic. So your non-browser traffic will be exposed, as it says here, but it will help you reach banned websites if any websites are banned for you in your country. Uh, and No Borders Mode will help you bypass internet restrictions such as the Great Firewall of China if you're in China and other censorship heavy countries. And if you notice, ExpressVPN doesn't really give you any option to uh, bypass uh, censorship firewalls or anything like that. And that's because ExpressVPN has proprietary obfuscation that is on by default. So that is, of course, also part of its ease of use. You don't have to configure or do anything to make it work. All you need to do is download the application and turn it on and it'll work no matter what country you're in. Of course, all these VPNs do have Swedish servers. So if I go ahead and look up Sweden, there we go, as well as in um, Surfshark. Of course, you have Sweden, Swedish servers. You even have multi-hop Swedish servers in uh, Surfshark. I'm not exactly sure if you uh, have multi-hop uh, servers or double VPN servers here in... Uh, oh, you do, you do. Okay, so there we go. You've got, you know, quite a few. Uh, so yeah, if that's helpful to you. Of course, if you didn't know, double VPN will route your connection through two IP addresses and two servers for double the security. Uh, and uh, well, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So keep that in mind if you guys are interested. Also, all their plans do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So don't worry about, let's say you get um, NordVPN or Surfshark and you change your mind, you do have a 30 day money back guarantee across all of their plans, be it the 30 day plan, Plan, the uh, six month plan, the one year plan, the two year plan, whatever it is that you get, you'll be able to get yourself a money back guarantee through the live chat support, which you can access on all of their websites, by the way, let me just show you guys using ExpressVPN as an example, just hover over the bottom right, it's the same with Nord and Surfshark, click the button right here, you'll get access to the uh, live chat support, and you can ask them for your refund right there if you are interested in getting a refund. Of course, to avoid having to get a refund, just Check out the reviews and you'll be able to learn exactly what you uh, need to know about these VPNs before you make the subscription. Besides that, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.